tutorial is going to be on body positioning. All right, in all seriousness though, I'm going to show you guys today how I position myself on the bike when I'm woods riding. All right, so the number one thing when you're woods riding is to be prepared for what's coming at you. There could be a log, a rock, a sharp corner, a loose rocky corner, it could be anything, right? So when it comes to riding in the woods, you almost always want to be standing. Um, when you're standing forwards like this, you're a little bit above the bars, you have a lot more control and you can react more quickly to what's coming up. You're, you're over the bars like this rather than being back and like this, you can react a lot more quickly. So the next thing on the list is where you should be looking. You should always be looking ahead about 20 feet rather than looking down at what's coming up directly in front of you. This will make you a faster rider in the long run. Number three on the list is legs. You want to have your knees slightly bent. You don't want to be poker straight, otherwise you won't be able to absorb what's coming at you. And you want to have your knees tight to your bike. It helps with control. So the fourth thing I'm going to talk about is where you should be on the bike. Um, of course, you're going to be moving around a lot on the bike. When, you're, when you want traction, you're going to be farther back. When you're cornering, you could be farther forwards. But in general, the normal riding position, I'd say you want to be center on the pegs almost with a forward stance. I find this gives you the most balance and the most control. Okay, so I'm going to go into more detail uh, when it comes to body positioning for going down steep hills, uphill climbs, over obstacles um, in, an, in another video. So just let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see and I'll get on it. Thanks for watching.